bringing news that matters to you. You're watching The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Local government is designed to bring the government closer to the people. Well, tonight a local official is on a mission to not only improve his community, but also a special group of individuals that oftentimes find themselves on the wrong side of the law. Joan Davis Roll reports. Many young Bahamian men are said to be in crisis. Some have contributed to crime and other social ills, and as a result of bad choices, oftentimes end up trading their freedom for incarceration. Social worker Jerron Javi, who also serves as the consul representative for the 8th Maroc West Township, is determined to be an agent of change. His goal, he says, is to not only assist in the future growth and development of the largest community in the country, but to also impact the lives of youngsters, particularly young men, in a meaningful way. As a young man, I believe that there is no barrier in serving. And so I want to present to the young men of our community, we want them to shadow us, to live, to allow our lives to be a road model for them to model after, so that one day they can become local government members and even serve in their in the capacities of local government representatives and serving their various communities. Harvey says many young people want to have a voice in the community and are crying out for attention. Sometimes you have to sit down, even as a probation officer, sitting down and hearing their concerns and sitting down and not necessarily talking but listening to them and being a listening, having listening ear so that to hear their cries and to hear their concerns and then offering sound advice to help them. And so that's what I'm here, to listen to the concerns of the young men of West Grand Bahama. And once I hear their concerns, I am able to best assist them in that regard. Joan Davis Roll, ZNS Network News. The dream of higher education becoming a reality today for four persons thanks to a leader in the gaming industry on Grand Bahama. Jarrell Investments trading locally as Chances Games, donating a total of $10,000 in scholarships to the 700 partners for four persons to attend the Bahamas Agriculture and Marine Institute. Director of BAMSI, Dr. Ravina Hanna, and Vice President of Jarrell Investments, Darlene Culmer, say that education is the most powerful weapon that we can give our young people today. The Bahamas Agriculture and Marine Science Institute is the premier tertiary institution for agriculture and marine sciences in the country. We offer focused curriculum with a combination of academic, practical and technical training that prepare our learners for success in the field and success in life. Fisheries and agriculture is very important um, to the Bahamas because we need as Bahamians to be able to feed ourselves um, and we can do it. Founder and president of 700 Partners, Ginger Moxie, says that she is pleased to be a part of the scholarship donation to these individuals and she hopes that more Bahamians will be interested in agriculture and the maritime industry, like Oscar Riley, a scholarship recipient. The Scholarship Foundation of 700 Partners is one where we try to assist those in need and BAMSI is one of those institutes and entities that has been asking and seeking to get more Grand Bahamian students involved. I'm grateful for the opportunity given to me by BAMSI to attend school. Uh, the way our economy is right now, we need more Bahamians to stay home, make money, bring money into the Bahamas. And that's what I plan to do. Looking forward in the future to its further development and for our kids to um, take the full um, opportunity and benefit of our boarding school in the Bahamas. And now it is time to ask the doctor. Welcome. Rosa from NASA asks, I'm beginning to get my grandchildren ready for going back to school. What should I do to help them have a great start for the new term? Thanks for a great question, Rosa. Getting kids ready for back to school can be a big task, and not just making sure they have the uniforms and tools necessary. Making sure your children and adolescents are ready for the new academic year can encompass everything from sleep to immunization shots. Sleep is an important element of health that is too often overlooked. Getting enough sleep is critical for their well-being and their ability to learn. Adapting healthy sleep habits prior to the start of school could help students get the required rest they need. 
try establishing a bedtime routine to help children fall asleep and get a good night's rest. Children rest better if they skip caffeine after dinner, get regular exercise, turn off electronic devices an hour before bedtime. Make sure your kids stick to a reasonable bedtime, even on weekends, which helps to make Monday mornings a little easier. If you have questions on how your child or teenager can stay healthy during the school year, email askthedrbahamas at gmail.com. I'm Dr. Monique Pratt, and this has been Ask the Doctor. Stay with us to Talia Hall is up next with a check on sports.